Right, now this is the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 6th, 7th and 8th of December. And I'm asking today, what is the higher learning that we will gain from expanding? What do we need to learn about expansion itself? And what is it that expanding now will teach us, both personally and collectively? And I've got patience. Okay, that's really interesting. It's almost like a contradiction, but it says... Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realise. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So what I'm going to say about this is it feels a bit like this, that a lot of us have been waiting to expand in a particular area and it does or it seems to um, rely on some external circumstance, something happening, someone giving us the nod, someone saying, you know, yes, I, I would like to take this forward, or something happening that we don't feel is actually within our hands. And the message for that is that what we learn from our current expansion, our current inner expansion, is that while we're waiting, there is no such thing as waiting. We are always learning, we're always developing, we're always growing. So there are no mistakes, there are no accidents. God doesn't play dice. If we are having to wait for something, it's for a really good reason. So that the expansion is still happening, but again, the expansion can be happening on the inside, and sometimes the expansion happening on the inside is the very thing that will bring the expansion on the outside. So some of us are expanding our consciousness um, beyond our old beliefs, our old patterns, our old ways of judging things, including ourselves. And because of that, we will allow those new things to be manifested now. So it's really important to be aware that if something hasn't happened before now, it's either because your consciousness wasn't ready for it, or it's because it wasn't for your highest good for you to receive it earlier. So notice that Notice the way that everything that you do, everything that you're doing now has evolved beautifully in a way that it might not have done had you received what you were hoping for back then initially. And somebody's saying to me, pick another card from the Archangel's deck and I feel like it's on the top and I'm going to ask with that card, what am I asking with that card? I'm asking, what is the way to find our way into that expansion now? Apart from being patient and accepting the lessons of that patience, what comes next? What's the, what's the next wave of consciousness that's presenting itself uh, for the weekend? Clear audience. Okay, right, so again, we need to listen. We need to tune in. We need to stop fighting. We need to stop going against the flow because there is always a divine plan and it's always taking us in the right direction in perfection and in perfect divine timing so that's the message for friday so really i just feel like friday is going to be a day to um to to surrender to let go to stop trying to make things happen stop trying to force and control anything at all and just allow god the universe the divine the angels and the higher self to work through us, allow that consciousness to work through us in divine timing. And I'm going to pick another card from the Archangel's deck for Saturday because I really feel this weekend is a very important weekend to be connecting with the Archangels. Okay, so, passion. We always get these cards at the weekend, so passion. So it says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So. If you're waiting for something to happen, see that as a sign that you don't need to wait anymore, that you can trust completely, hand it over. Thank you, angels. I know this is being taken care of. I'm just going to spend my time continuing to create, continuing to, to stay in alignment with that energy, with that flow, with my passions. And I know that what's for my highest good is coming. And I'm going to continue to tune in and listen to be shown the steps, to be shown the way forward. And in the meantime, Saturday is a day to just keep going forward with that renewed passion, that renewed hope in our careers, in our um, new creations, and also with love as well. So uh, we haven't, we don't really talk very much about that personal, those personal connections, but I feel Saturday, I feel this weekend is going to be a, an important weekend for those who are involved in connections to really cement something, to really bring something into a level, a new level of understanding and to renew that passion, to renew the, the conviction 
in that um, in you know the the communication the you know the communication in and the commitment renew the commitment to that connection that's it so um, for Sunday I'm going to the unicorn deck for Sunday and I just feel I want something for Sunday that's going to help us to really sit in that energy of trusting that what's for our highest good is coming so we can remain uh, right I've just heard yes if we remain passionate about what we do that helps for the angels to bring the energy through more quickly it helps us to keep our vibration high as well so it clears away the, the fog the negativity the doubt the obstacles that we set up there mentally so if you're having trouble at all continuing to believe while you're being patient, sometimes getting creative, getting involved in the very thing that you are hoping for this result with, brings you back into the frequency and the alignment of that thing. And that opens your heart again and reconnects your consciousness with the right frequency. So I'm going to ask for Sunday, what do we need to know in the week ahead in terms of just staying in the flow of the right vibration for what we're wanting to create? The Christ, how beautiful. And it says, open the door to the kingdom of heaven. So I'm going to say, this card, what this card says to me is, if you are really aligned, with that divine energy, that divine light now within you, and with your desire to bring that to the planet and to be in planetary service, and you are working from a place of love, Sunday is saying, continue on that path. Continue to find the highest within you and the highest path within your life, and it will happen, it will be okay. It's already done. It's already created in heaven. It's created in that consciousness. So all we have to do is remain on that vibration of loving service and of believing and trusting and surrendering and know that it is done. And that is the way that we begin to open the door to the kingdom of heaven. So, and I'm just being reminded to say the kingdom of heaven is within you. So you can take from that whatever that means to you today. And um, have a fantastic weekend, everyone. It feels like it's going to be a really powerful weekend for lots of things. For re restoring our faith. For restoring and renewing our commitments. And for just really coming back into the trust and belief that's represented by this entire time of year traditionally and astrologically so that's it have a great weekend and i'll be back on monday thanks for watching Thank you.